everyone. Kitchen corner cabinets, and that's a mouthful, can really be tough to tame for anyone. And if your cabinets aren't working well for you, check out how, with just a few organising tools and a little skill, you can tame those cabinets, just as my friend Catherine has from Do It On A Dime. Have a look. Hi, I'm Catherine from Do It On A Dime and doitonadimeblog.com. I love getting organized on a budget. So today I'm gonna take you in my kitchen and show you some really difficult to organize cabinets. Whether you don't have a lot of space to work with or you're trying to organize one of those super challenging corner cabinets, I hope that this provides you with some tips and ideas and how to do it on a budget. When working with corner spaces, you need visibility and easy access. On the bottom shelf, you can see I'm using these clear shoe boxes. It's super easy to maximize all of the space I have, but also really easy to take those things out and find exactly what I need. Another great tip is to use pull baskets. These I just got from the dollar store and I'm keeping extra towels in them. Bulk appliances that you only access on occasion are also a great use of corner spaces because it's not a high traffic area. My favorite way to organize corner cabinets are with Lazy Susans. I've got my trash bags in here and you can see I can just turn the Lazy Susan to access all of the products. I don't have to move anything to do so and this was super economical. I did this for less than five dollars. It's a really easy way to maximize all of the space I have. Moving on to some other difficult to organize zones, another great spot for Lazy Susans is hard to reach high up cabinets. It makes things super easy to see and I also keep a Lazy Susan in my fridge. If you don't have a lot of money to spend, this Lazy Susan was very inexpensive, just $5. You can customize it using a cheese platter. I got this from a thrift store. It used to have a cloche on top of it, but it fits perfectly on top of the Lazy Susan and suddenly I have a really large custom one that's perfect, especially if you don't have a pantry. I can keep pastas and noodles in here. Also, another great pantry organizing tip is to get these pull baskets. I found these at my local dollar store. Because of the handle on them, they're super easy to pull out and access those things that tend to get lost inside of cabinets. Also, if you're working with a really small budget, dish pans make a great organizing system. Just use them as drawers inside of your cabinets to put different categories of items and that way nothing gets lost in the back of your cabinets and things are really easy to access. If you don't have a lot of drawer space, consider mounting things on the inside of your cabinet doors. Here I've mounted my measuring spoons and I've also made a custom spice rack mount. This is just a dollar store container and I've adhered it with wall mounting hooks. Thank you so much to Peter Walsh for letting me be a part of all the wonderful things that are happening on this channel. If you like what you see in this video, you can click the link down below to check out my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.